And so for the Sassuolo starting lineup. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. The Napoli starting 11. Kalidou Koribali plays with Nikola Maksimovic in central defence. Tiamue Bakayoko plays with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the match begins. Locatelli. And in possession, Rogerio, Gianmarco Ferrari, Filip Juricic, Rogerio, they've given it away. Elmas, and Fabian, poor pass under no real pressure. Fruitful looking attack. Now he must favour the cross. However, a well thought out piece of defending. And he's fired over the corner. Capuso. Good defending. Fabian. Muldur. Ferrari has it. Locatelli. Lopez. Well, it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Fabian. Really getting stuck in. Lopez. He's in control of the situation. An alert intervention. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Capuso it might be on for them using all his defensive acumen to cut it out and this situation could be dangerous oh crucial tackle brilliant Lorenzo Insigne oh that's an interesting pass I must admit I thought he was going to score with that header yeah it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, surely! Oh, he's given it! Penalty! And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. Fancy a short one. But it can't get all the way through. Oh. 
Rogerio. Now Juricic. Gianmarco Ferrari. Now Lopez. Capuso. How can he take them on and beat them? Might take the lead. And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defense. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around me? He's got no chance. One nil then. Rete del Sassuolo, con il numero 73, Manuel Locatelli. A sloppy pass. Obiang. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And a chance to whip it in here. Really good challenge. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Obiang. Capuso. Has a go. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Over it comes. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on the game. What have you made of his performance, Lee? Yeah, well, the stats don't lie. Not enough has been done by the team, and he has to take some of the blame for that. Too easy to mark would suggest to me he needs to run around a little bit more. It's not rocket science, Derek. Well, they get the ball moving once again. Napoli trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Dentro con il numero 23 Elmas Hamed Junior Traore Giovanni Di Lorenzo Great strong tackle throw in forthcoming Are showing good defensive judgment Kuribali Elmas has it He's given it away Caputo. Now Juricic. Oh, it's off the post. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Time for a change then. Locatelli. Ferrari has it. Rogerio. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Caputo. Half an hour remaining then. Locatelli. On the ball, Obiang. Meat Muldur. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. An attack full of promise. Now can they counter clinically? Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. 
Filip Juricic. On the ball, Obiang. Well, he played that one really well. Meat Muldur. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And they're making a change. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. High quality defending. It is to be a throw in. Philip Juricic. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Gregoire Deprel. In behind for him to chase. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. In campo, con il numero 14, Dries Mertens. Nikola Maksimovic. It's with Konibali. Elmas. They couldn't maintain possession. Into the advanced position. Well, time just challenged magnificently. And attempting the through ball. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. And there we are, Derek. You said it right at the end of the game. He's fluffed his lines, but the keeper takes great credit for that. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Tiamue Bakayoko. Untidy on the ball. Traore. And there to intervene. A very good tackle. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Obiang. And the final whistle has sounded. This is not the result Napoli fans around the world, and there are so many, wanted to hear. Lee, disappointing. Well, nobody likes losing, Derek, but when it's such fine margins, it makes it hard to take. Still some positives, though, and they will regroup and surely go again. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.